Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show with your hosts, Lee Silber and Ellen Goodwin. This podcast is short, fun, and jam-packed with good ideas that you can start using right away. And here's your host, Lee and Ellen. Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show. I'm your host, Ellen Goodwin, along with my co-host, Lee Silber. Excellent. That's the first normal introduction I've done in weeks. That's pretty much the most (laughs) normal. So... (laughs) So the tranquilizers are working. This is good. <laughs> I felt a little pinch in the button. That was a little dart that you stuck. Yeah. <laughs> so today, um, I thought we'd talk about talking. I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> I thought we'd talk about how talking things through mm. and reading them aloud promotes better understanding. And that's efficient. Yes, it is efficient. I mean... A lot of times when we're writing something, we'll we'll glance at it again. We'll run spell check or whatever, and we're done. And or use Grammarly, but which is good. Grammarly right. is a very handy tool. But if you really want to write something that you know you got it right, mm-hmm. read it aloud. I know it sounds like it's a waste of time, but it's actually going to save you time. That's true. You're going to That's find true. typos. You're going to find syntax. You're going to find tense problems. I mean, you're going to find all kinds of things by reading it aloud. Right, right. And especially if, if you're trying to get a conversational tone mm-hmm. in your writing, it, it totally helps. Because otherwise, you it's a, oh, you think. <laughs> Yes. No, I do that with each each week I send out a newsletter and besides having a couple of people read it before it goes, we, I I read it out loud because I get caught up in my head and this is oh this totally makes sense and then then I realize I've left out a huge section because yeah. it does make sense in my head. I made a bridge to yeah. like a thought and people that are reading it are to be like, I don't see no bridge. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, a bridge to nowhere. <laughs> There's like no bridge available except for the one in my head and no one's getting that. But reading it aloud does solve that problem. And yeah. it's, it, is, it sounds like a time waster, but it's truly a time saver. The other thing about talking things out is, well, first of all, women in general not over you're looking at me start I'm just glow. my mouth here is shut. we go I'm just waiting to hear what's coming okay well first of all let me just say this isn't it true that when men get together and socialize they insult each other but they don't really mean it and when women get together and socialize they compliment each other and they don't, don't mean, mean it <laughs> either <laughs> so anyway so men t- uh, women tend to want to talk things through mm-hmm. i've got a, there's a problem Let's just talk it through. And that's how we'll come up with a solution. Men are less empathetic, emotional, talkative. Let's do something, Mm -hmm. right? Let's talk about it. Let's do something. I think the talking about it for men first, then doing something can save time. Whereas just blindly rushing out there. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Let's, let's, <laughs> I had a spear in my hand. A sword. So the women, we just like sit back and watch. Uh-huh. There he goes yeah, again. We got, <laughs> Old Clyde. With we his... got that all figured out. We'll just like let yeah. them run wild. Uh, but talking things mm-hmm. through, again, it's, it's counterintuitive. I have, to, I have to read, I have to speak what I've written. What a waste of time. It's a time saver. Wait, can't we just do something? No. Let's, let's, talk, let's it. talk it through. Mm-hmm. Talk it up. Talk it, these are all cliches. Talk it through. Talk, talk it, it up. Through. Yeah, exactly. Talk to me. Right. I mean, you think about, okay, I want to do, you know, X, Y, Z. I've got something I want to work on. And you, you know inside you're kind of like, oh, I'm not sure how to do it. or And if you just sat and talked, like if I came to you, Lee, and said, hey, I want to do this, and this is kind of what I'm thinking. And chances are, if you just sat there, all you'd have to do is just sit there. You wouldn't even have to open your mouth because once you start talking you through. <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> um, once you start talking things through, you, you all of a sudden you make the connections. You, you already have most of the answers inside. It's just bringing them together. And when you talk them out, it's super efficient because... All the connections get made. Thanks for listening to the show. We're out. <laughs> that's exactly it. You. Hit, that's exactly what I was trying to say, but you said it so much better. See, I blab, blah, 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 blah. And then you took what I said, and you made it much more much understandable. Much nicer. The show notes are going to be really small. <laughs> but that's true. You said one thing. Ellen repeated it. Yeah. So talking it through to get new insights and ideas, just the talking of it. But you may, you, who knows, you may, someone might ask you a question. Which uh-huh. makes you dig deeper, or they might make a suggestion that makes you rethink something. So, right. talking it through 
is one of those things. And then I would last the, the last the, the third point, as I always third do the point. three, would be there are times where it's better to just pick up the phone. Oh yeah. Versus email, it's a time saver. Emails back mm-hmm. and forth where you could just pick up the phone. And get the answer you need. And sometimes yes. it's, you can tell by the tone of their voice whether you're it's working or not, which doesn't always come through an email or a text. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but that that uh, uh, everyone's just texting and emailing instead of talking, it, it is a time saver. Text is a time saver. I mean, because then it once, it, once you get someone on the phone, depending on who it is, an hour goes by and you realize, okay, I only needed, you know, one or two texts. But... Sometimes, and only the listeners will know when this time is, sometimes it is better to just have either a face-to-face conversation, mm-hmm. but more likely a time-saving tool would be an efficiency tool, is to just pick up the phone and call somebody. Right. And talk it through. Exactly. Have you had that experience? Oh, I have. I have. Because, you you know, yeah, you could go back and forth. You get more frustrated. Yeah, if you just like, hey, I knew it would be easier if I just called and we talked this through. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a great way to do it. So. There you go. We talked it through. And we did a good job. (laughs) At least. In our minds, we did. (laughs) Thanks for listening. Be back here again next week for another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better show. 